Leave Gildersleeve with Portland's Flying Fish Company used to rely on Puget Sound for serving up tasty oysters. Puget Sound is an area where, you know, there's a good amount of water flow that happens in and out. But as you know, um, Puget Sound versus the Oregon coast, you know, it's not the crashing waves down. So that water has a chance to get warmer. This summer, he says the water temperature in the Sound is running too warm. So he's turned to shipments from colder waters in Alaska, Portland, Maine, and New Zealand. So that's on the other side of the hemisphere, so it's not the warm time of year there. So just source them from everywhere that has cooler water. And summer is the time of year that people equate uh, shellfish with getting together with family and friends and eating outside. And so the demand for shellfish in the, in the summer is often really high. Margaret Polaro is with the Pacific Coast Shellfish Growers Association. She stops short of calling it an oyster shortage, but says there's been some challenges with this year's harvest. We saw this heat dome that happened in late jo June, and that caused some mortality. About two years ago, we saw another big mortality event. It wasn't, I don't believe it was heat induced. The record heat warmed up waters across the Northwest, which produced a bacteria in some Puget Sound oysters. There was a recall of product out of Washington State. There's a natural um, bacteria called Vibrio that uh, in the Northwest can make people sick when they eat, when they're exposed to that. That took a lot of shellfish off the market, and there's also a labor shortage, which means deliveries can take longer to get to restaurants. So are they safe to eat? Margaret says they should be served chilled and cooking is an option. You know, getting it to 145 degrees um, will ensure that it will, will be safe to eat. Joe Ranieri, KGW News.